Oh, dude, that's heavy! Hi, people on the interwebs. I'm gonna start tearing apart the parts truck I just recently picked up to help with the restoration process of my grandma's old Ford Ranger. If you guys are new and you wanna get caught up on everything, up above is a link to that road trip where I drove to the middle of nowhere in New Mexico to pick up this Ranger. First, I gotta get it off the trailer though. So Charlie is gonna use his crane truck. Are you sad this is like your last couple days with your truck? I am, but it's okay. I don't wanna do this anymore. Charlie actually just sold his service truck. He's no longer gonna be doing heavy equipment repair for a living. Instead, he's gonna help me. And also he teaches mechanical engineering courses at the local university. Sketchy. It is sketchy. The Flying Ranger. Man, that bed doesn't want to come off. There we go. Oh, geez. All right, stop. I'm just gonna borrow one of his friend's tires. Now that the bed is off, you can get a better look at this frame. This thing is mint. It's got some clay dirt all over it. Tiny bits of surface for us, not much. But I mean, there's still a bunch of original paint all over the place. You can see the Reese hitch. I don't have one of those, now I do. And all the bumper brackets, the leaf springs, shackles, everything. Still got the original black finish on it. This is awesome, such a good find. And then the rear axle on this thing, I mean, that is mint. Mine is like potato chips of rust falling off of it. It's about to get dark out, so I'll come back manana. I don't know if you can see in the camera in front of me, but there's a whip tail lizard. Hi, little lizard. Hello. <laughs> Look at his, see his belly? I'll, um, good thing this is in 4K, I can zoom in for you. It's just checking me out. See his little tail whipping around? That's so cute. Hi, little guy. Oh, there you go. Welcome to the Thunderdome. I don't know what that has to do with what I'm doing. I guess because I'm working on a pile of junk in the Thunderdome, beyond Thunderdome, it was like apocalypse, junk vehicles. 104 degrees and it's humid out. I assembled a fort to keep the sun off me while I'm doing this. This stuff is so dry rotted. It's the difference between a Southwest truck and a Northeast truck. Wonder how long this battery sat here and leaked acid for. It's crazy. It just completely destroyed all the paint in this engine bay. Definitely gotta keep these. This stuff is gold right now because all mine's rusted. It's pretty windy out, but because it's 104, it feels like there's just a dryer blowing on me. Ah, fresh hair dryer breeze. Got one, two, those are out. Now, should be some more under the cab. It's so hot, I'm working in like slow motion. <laughs> I'm just, I'm guessing they had a sticker on here or they just really liked alligators or dinosaurs. All right, where is it? There it is. One, two. So I got one on each side. Man, this thing is so clean under here. Not literally, but figuratively because lack of rust. Oh, it doesn't clear, damn it. The truck's not high enough. Oh, gross. Ah. There's the head. Hell yeah. Got it. Ooh, that doesn't look like any kind of anti-seize or anti-corrosion. It looks like a, someone stuck a candy corn. Oh my God, what, that's a melted candy corn. God, having nails comes in handy when you're working on vehicles. Got it. More candy corn.
popcorn. Just trying to catch my breath out here. It's spicy. It's too bad that one's de-beaded because I'd like to be able to roll this thing out of here. This thing's a pre-production model truck and I'm already putting it to work. <laughs> it's funny. I hear the Calvary coming in. Yeah. Now some more tools are here and a crane to lift this cab off. Fire in the hole. Yep. Off. I want to be a little delicate with the brakes because I'm wondering how my brake lines look like crap on my truck. The bugs weren't bad earlier, now they're starting to come out. Yeah, I, just, I don't think I've ever seen any other manufacturer use a cannon plug like that in the firewall. It is absolutely brilliant. I don't remember if I bought a new brake booster for mine or not. There we go. Ooh, a little gnarly looking in there. I think everything is disconnected now. We'll find out when we pick up the cab and something snaps. Hopefully not. I'm gonna try to give this cab to somebody that needs it. So I really don't want to destroy it. You want me to do anything or just pretty much send it? Send it. All right, looks like it's gonna go. Yep. Uh, we got a couple cables back here. That's interesting. It seriously is just a cable that connects the cab to the frame for accident purposes. And I'm guessing mine is nasty and corroded, so I'm gonna hold on to that. There's the frame. It's nice the engine's already out of it. Saves me a lot of work. All right, you can go down or bring it towards me and go down. Go. Here you go. Drop it. You good on the front end? Yeah. Yeah, you're good back here. There you go. So Charlie has another project vehicle in the works. Uh, I told him he should film it and put it on YouTube, but he's just the kind of person that likes to work and just get shit done and not worry about filming. So I don't know. Anyway, he has this crane and a four-wheel drive conversion for his 88. Dodge pickup. So he's gonna build a baby service truck that's four-wheel drive and has a crane. It's gonna be a lot more mobile than this big truck, which this one's great because it's heavy duty and it can do a lot bigger jobs, but the problem is it's so massive that every time it breaks, it's extremely expensive to fix. And sometimes it's just too big to get into small, tight locations for certain jobs. <laughs> Gotta get some tires on this thing so we can roll it around. I brought the Ranger over here today so I can compare this frame versus mine and see what parts I want to take off of this. And the stuff I don't need, I'm going to toss in the bed of that truck because it's going to end up getting scrapped. At least the bed is probably going to get scrapped. There's nothing really good on it. I'm going to take off the rest of the crap that is no longer usable. Like, good hardware though. Nice hardware. I mean, everything that lands on me has a stinger. Hey, there's a serial number under here. Weird. Ford. Made in Canada. <laughs> Everyone's like, why American? Those things made in Canada. Oh my god, nope, that's not going. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna get this bumper off. I, this is, if I can't get it with this thing, there's nothing I'm gonna be able to get it with. I wanna be able to use the bumper brackets on this frame because they're clean. Mine are covered in rust, but this hardware is not budging whatsoever. And I mean, I'm using the nut buster. I'm pretty sure this does over 1400 pound feet of torque. That's insane. It doesn't even make any sense. The hardware on my truck comes out easier despite it being covered in rust than this stuff which has no rust on it. I don't understand it. Luckily, he had a piece of age equipment on site. So they'll hook up an air compressor to this thing and definitely get those bolts out. I know technically it's not age because this isn't a piece of aviation equipment, but I don't care, I'm gonna call it age anyway. Some of you will get it. Soak these things in some penetrant. These back ones are stripped, but 
That's all right, all I need is the front side to turn anyway. That's not an impact gun. This is an impact gun. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. It's only three quarter inch drive. He's got a one inch drive too if this doesn't do it. <laughs> this thing weighs like 10 pounds. Oh my God, this thing's fucking heavy. Oh, I lucked out. He's got all kinds of heavy equipment type stuff. So I should be able to get the rest of this taken apart, no problem. I keep getting distracted because I see that little lizard run across. He goes in the bushes and he comes back over and watches what I'm doing on the truck. But yeah, I'm so happy this thing has got a hitch. So I'll have one now on my Ranger. It sucks this bumper is all full of dents. Because I would have used this one, but it's all dented up. At least my bumpers are dent free. They may be rusted on the backside, but... It's alright, I'll get them re-chromed. Look at those bugs. Oh, dude, that was heavy! <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that heavy. Hell yeah. These things are absolutely mint. They still have all the original finish on them. Good. I also need the little pieces, though, that connect to the bumper itself. Yeah. These. I'm gonna take these things too, because mine are all rotten. These are in perfect shape too though. That's amazing. Finally. Need these guys. My camera's overheat light's turning back on again. Usually it does that when I record in 4K for a long period of time doing car views and stuff. It's doing it in 1080 right now because it's, it's oh, probably over 100 again. It feels kind of good in a weird way. I don't know why. I don't know. Now that I got those two, I guess the only thing I could really do is get rid of this power steering pump. Yeah, look how bad this leak was. I had to clean this thing up really good. I'm gonna leave this on here though, just to make it easier to move this thing. Pressure washing this thing made a huge difference. It's so much cleaner now. You can see so much better on the frame. It's time to take this thing back to my shop. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. Charlie's gonna tow it with his truck. It's spicy in here. Oh, that's hot. Jeez. Oh, that's hot. Oh. I cannot wait to get air conditioning in this truck. <sighs> Definitely, I know he's probably not gonna see this video, but I have to thank Charlie's friend Mark for helping me out here at his house. Let me use this space to stick a junk truck. So there it is. I got it in my shop now. And you can see this frame after pressure washing it. I mean, it's still got the original finish on a lot of the frame. And the areas that do have rust, unlike my frame, this is just surface rust. It's not coming off and flaking in big chunks like it was on my frame. So this will look really nice once it's all sandblasted and powder coated. I'm squatting down right now because up above me is the TT. It's back from paint and I put it up in the air so you guys can't see it. The next video I record, you'll see it. But uh, one other thing, I know a couple of you are gonna ask this, the drive line that is on this truck, because this truck has a lot more miles than my Ranger, that only has 89,000 miles on it. This, however, I'm guessing is probably multiple hundreds of thousands of miles, because if you look right here, this drivetrain has got a ton of slop and play in it. So I'm guessing this has got maybe 200,000 miles. My Gram's truck over here, with way less miles does have the same gear ratio as the 373s with the Dana axles. So I'm gonna take the guts from this pumpkin and rebuild this one with the lower mileage parts. The same goes for the front of the truck as well. And as far as the engine and transmission goes, 
Hopefully I should have something sponsorship wise worked out here in the next couple weeks of restoring that stuff. So that will be nice and spiffy and pretty looking to go with the powder coated frame. Anyway, just so you guys know, I am going to be working on both of these at the same time because there's going to be a lot of sitting and waiting on stuff at powder coating and sandblasting for the Ranger. So just FYI, that's why it's going to go back and forth between the two vehicles video wise, but I'm going to stop rambling now so I can go drink a ton of water because I'm super dehydrated. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.